You know, if you think, if you don't like disruption, then focus on the disruption to the planet and to the climate, to the waters and the oceans and the sky. That's, that disruption is on a different scale. And the second thing I'd say is, you know, a hundred years ago, the suffragettes were doing this, or, or you and I wouldn't be able to vote. And they were called criminals and troublemakers, and they were thrown in jail and force-fed. And now there's a plaque to them in the House of Commons saying, to honor the memory of these history, you know, these heroines of history. So Oh, just to do a bit for the planet. Ten years ago I looked at climate and I got to recognise the horrendous risk of climate change. And since then, I've been doing what I can to try and get the word out that we shouldn't be putting out the, the carbon emissions we are and taking on the horrendous climate risks that we face, especially with two girls, one an 18-year-old and one a 22-year-old. I'll be dead before things get really bad, but they'll be there to live through what potentially we could see, which is what David Attenborough says, is the, the possible collapse of civilization. We're here because um, we realise what's going to happen to the climate and what's going to happen to the world as a result of it and so few people really seem to understand the facts that we're here just to, for a bit of publicity and show the government that at least some of us know what's going on. We need some more media coverage, these guys are getting all, we're extinction empire.